Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here with an interesting and exciting revelation when it comes to the sabbatical year. Giving all praises to our Father in heaven, hallowed be his name, for his infinite wisdom and making the sabbatical year just so easy. Yep, you're looking at it. The way we determine the sabbatical years is simply to divide the current year by seven. And if it comes out even, the first new moon after the spring equinox in that year will be a sabbatical year. In other words, since 2023 divided by seven comes out equally without a remainder, that means that 2023 will be a sabbatical year. And in this video, we're going to prove it. Now, I'm sure in your studies trying to learn when the sabbatical year is, you've come across many ideas, many speculations, even many years. But if you ever want to know about divine things like the sabbatical year, you always have to rely on scripture, not what people think or speculation. You have to rely on the Bible. Any other source is just made up. So that's what we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is do a search for the phrase sabbatical year in the common English Bible. And of course, the first time we see it is over in Leviticus chapter 25. The second being 1 Maccabees chapter 6 and verse 49. So whereas we learned about the sabbatical year in the book of Leviticus, we see over here in 1 Maccabees chapter 6, the last known sabbatical year. In other words, this is the last biblical account of a sabbatical year in all of scripture and our last chance in all of scripture to determine when the exact sabbatical year is. Like we see here in verse 49 of chapter 6, where it says, they evacuated the town because they lacked sufficient resources there to withstand the siege. It was a sabbatical year for the land. So there is telling us that the time in which this particular event occurred was a sabbatical year. And it goes on to tell about that battle. But then when you look down in verse 53, where it says, but they had no food in storage since it was the seventh year. Those people who had found safe haven in Judea from the Gentiles had eaten the last of the food. So there again is talking about the sabbatical year, confirming by calling it the seventh year. And I think it's important to highlight how during this sabbatical year they had no food, but We'll cover that more in a future video. Here we want to concentrate on the sabbatical year or the seventh year. So let's find out exactly when this year is. So we're in chapter six, looking at verse 49 and verse 54. But let's scroll up to find out when this year actually is. And we find the clue in verse 20 which says they assembled themselves together, built siege towers and other war engines and attacked the Gentiles in the year 150. This is talking about the attacks from Syria and we will find that important a little later, these renewed attacks from Syria. But note here that this went down in the year 150. So the question simply becomes, the 150th year of what? And to understand that, we simply come back to chapter 1, verse 1, where it's talking about Alexander the Great, a son of the Macedonians. This is talking about the beginning of the Grecian Empire. In fact, this is a key because all of the years given in the books of Maccabees point back to this particular date when Alexandria defeated King Darius III. And note there that he plundered the nations afterwards. 
This is talking about none other than the Battle of Issus in the year 333 BC. We see in Britannica.com is when Alexander the Great defeated the Persian army under King Darius III. And we see in Wikipedia that this actually occurred on November the 5th in the year 333 BC. This is in fact what we read about in the book of Daniel chapter 11 verses 11 and 12. So we see here where the battle of Issos was at. This is after Alexander made his way through modern day Turkey, but the battle itself took place in Syria, which is the same place this battle was taking place over in 1st Maccabees. So now it simply becomes a math problem. Since the Battle of Issos, where Alexander the Great conquered Darius, took place in the year 333 BC, 150 years later takes us to the year 183. So the last known scriptural account of a sabbatical year was in the year 183 BC. So if we start in the year 183 BC, and we march forward, we see that the year 1 BC was a sabbatical year. Just like the year 7 and the year 14 were sabbatical years, well, if we continue to march forward, we see that the year 2023 will be a sabbatical year. And just like the year 7 and the year 14, 2023 is divisible by 7, just like every sabbatical year will be divisible by 7, which points to our Creator's infinite wisdom, making it easy for us to understand the sabbatical years. All we have to do is divide our current year by 7, and if it works out without a remainder, that year is a sabbatical year.